keep it easy, keep it easy, keep it easy, keep it easy, keep it easy. Hey guys, I am back with another video. This is my second video today. So I'm going to be giving you these back to school hacks that I feel will be so beneficial. The thing is, um, they're gonna be, you know, a few college more hacks, high school, you know, these are just hacks in general that you should just know for any situation, any school year, any classification. Okay, now the first back to school hack that I have for you guys is definitely when it comes to books. So for the freshmen, um, mostly for college, because that's really when you're going to need those books. You really want to make sure that you really need those books, okay? I really hate to be the one to say not all books are important. You don't want to just go ahead and purchase the books. You know how they give you the curriculum guide and the teacher on the syllabus or whatever will already tell you the book that you need or whatever. See if there's a different edition, like a third edition or a second edition or whatever, because know this, that all colleges are going to recommend the most expensive book, the newer book, when you could just get the older book and still have the same information in it. So just make sure, don't jump the gun and purchase these books because the first week of school, you don't necessarily need your book. Um, I found myself purchasing the books right away and we never used the book for the whole year. So yeah, you really just want to make sure that you're, you know, doing a little, little bit more research on the teacher, on the class. You could even ask the teacher personally, hey, am I going to need a book? Is it okay that I get a different um, edition of this book? Because not all professors or teachers going to let you know that there's a cheaper book out there that you can use. I would also recommend trying to go to a place like, I don't know, around my area, we have an Edward McKay's. So just other locations around the area that sells books for a cheaper price. I would definitely take advantage of tax season, which is in August. I know for college, the you really only need uh, possibly a notebook and a binder. And to be honest with you, sometimes all you need is paper. So just make sure that you know all the supplies that you need beforehand, or basically, like I said before, just don't jump the gun and buy all of these products, products, <laughs> supplies, if you really may not use them at all. Getting to my next point, some people just buy all of their supplies at the beginning of the semester and they even have supplies for the second semester, but you don't really know what's gonna consist of second semester. So once again, slow your roll, just see your options here, do your research before you start spending money you don't have to spend. I would just really strongly recommend to have a planner or a dry eraser planner calendar board to write down everything this was very helpful for me especially in college because in college you are going to experience a lot of mixed dates some teachers are really going to have things so spaced out and even for your syllabus when you get your syllabus which is a paper that they're going to basically sell you all your assignments ahead of time not all teachers would do that but if they do give you all of your dates ahead of time go ahead and jot those down in your little planner make sure you're updating your dry eraser board i keep on glancing at my dry eraser board right now like it's weird anyways make sure to do that it's going to help your life okay the other thing that i would strongly recommend is when you're purchasing your supplies do it by color color coded things you know like if you have get a yellow notebook a green notebook and a red notebook like put things in a different type of color for a different class it just makes things so much easier to have its own separate color for its own separate class own separate teacher whatever it may be it's just easier to deal with things that way okay here is another one and this is a hundred percent for high school don't use your locker okay like just don't that's just my personal opinion using your locker is going to definitely not give you much time to get to your class on time um i found myself you know wanting to kind of socialize more in between classes i didn't want to have to you know walk to my locker and get this and this out and then at the end at the end of class then you got to go back to your locker like 
I can't, I just didn't want to do it. It's all about getting in and getting out of school. That's how I see it. So you really just, you know, don't really utilize your locker unless you really need to utilize your locker. Um, Cause it'll just take up so much more time between classes and you don't want to be late cause it's not a good look. Plus I'm, you know, I wanted to socialize with my friends. I wanted to hang out. I didn't want to have to make any pit stops at my locker to do whatever and most of the time you may not even have your friends near your locker this is a very serious hack to me I even tell some of my friends this I've told them this before okay you know you have to walk to class in high school in college you're gonna have to definitely walk across that campus unless y'all have like a shuttle like my campus did but let me tell you this okay because the shuttle won't always be there all the time okay you it's a must that you leave five minutes before class ends, okay? Y'all are probably like, Trini, this is really bad. You're giving me bad advice. I shouldn't do these things. Well, you know, it's not going, it's five minutes before class. If you could, if you're able to get out of that class five minutes before, that's really gonna help you for your next class. I know in college, my classes were back to back and I had to work walk work <laughs> walk like 10 minutes across campus to get to my next class a class that I could not be late for so to avoid that I really just think if you're able to only if you're able to you could leave maybe five minutes before class ends and also I've done this before I've even told my teacher hey my class is in this building you're aware of that you know how long i gotta walk do you mind that sometimes i may leave a little bit early if you're a good student if you come out very respectful then most likely they'll be okay with it as long as you're not missing any important information now for the other teacher that you're going to be heading to good to let your teachers know ahead of time hey my class is i'm coming from all the way over here so i may be a little bit late coming to class is that going to be okay most likely they're going to say it's going to be okay but then of course they're going to give you the well, you know, I guess it's okay, you know, uh, just, I'd rather for you to be on time, but uh, just try to make it on time. That's what they may hit you with. And in other words, they're saying it's okay for you to be a little bit late because they understand where you're coming from, but they want to be a teacher and want you to know, I'm going to put my foot down. For you not to really be bored when traveling that long walk to class even in high school i found myself not wanting to go the exact same path to class you know like that one-way path to class you cut the corner every single day and you see the exact same people people that you like people that you don't like people that you cool with people that's fake you know, people that may be trying to jump you around a corner, you really don't know. So my advice to you is switch it up sometimes. For me, I switched it up. I did not go the same direction all the time in the class. I was just really bored. I was just like, uh. No, I'm just that type of person where I really do, just don't like doing the same things over and over again. I like to switch things up a lot. So me being that person, I started to walk a different way to class every other day for a week, for two weeks, whatever. And in college, it's really going to become useful. You actually getting to know the campus, you may find it easier to go a different path than you know the path that you used to take so definitely be very adventurous you know like look at your surroundings don't always go the same exact direction if you have a friend just tell her hey can you meet me here meet me halfway I've had friends meet me halfway I mean just make it fun I don't know make it very adventurous for you oh next hack that I would get a hundred percent this is what I did my freshman year of college actually all my years of college me and my friends at the beginning of the year now if you don't have any friends at the moment if you do have a roommate just see it hey if they're okay if they're especially if they're a freshman too and they're fairly new just ask them hey do you know where your classes are hey can I see your schedule you know ask them just those general questions and see if they're willing to walk the campus with you and just simply look at buildings that they're gonna have to go to you know just take a walk on campus before the class actually starts like days ahead and you know your first class is right here your second class is right here just make it really easy for you that way you don't have to just scatter and ask around on the first day you can just quickly walk there without having to ask around you don't want to be late on your first day now to be honest with you I ne I really didn't go to class on the first day of school it was an introduction day okay 
don't feel bad if you missed the first day of class. I'm not really, I mean, don't look, y'all don't take, <laughs> I don't want to see I don't want to steer anyone in the wrong direction I'm just simply letting you know what I did on the first day I still had so much other things that I was wanting to organize and get together so I didn't really always take that first step to go to class on the first day because on the first three days everyone knows that people add classes drop classes people are still out of town coming off of planes I mean come on you can miss the first day and be okay don't i mean hey i'm just letting you know if you do miss the first day everything's okay because the next day most likely you're gonna get that syllabus they're gonna give you all what you need or most colleges now are doing things online so your syllabus can be online for you to print out okay so the last and final tip trick hack whatever you want to call it i would definitely say that the freshman 15 is a real thing and it's a real thing because when you first get into college you go to the calf and you basically most likely may have a meal plan and you're gonna have pizza burgers hot dogs all of that good stuff there and you're just gonna eat it you're just gonna eat and eat and you just not gonna necessarily keep track because you're gonna be going to class and then you're gonna meet your friends at the calf and they're gonna be too busy talking about good stuff and you're just gonna be eating and then it becomes a whole entire semester thing and then you gain the weight I hopped in college and gained a whole lot of weight and I'm still to this day trying to trim weight from my freshman year so I'm just gonna tell you straight up just keep track on what you're eating they do have salads I'm sure in the calf so just kind of glance at that salad before glancing at that pizza and fries okay oh and speaking about food I found it really helpful um, thanks to my parents having a membership to Costco. <coughs> Jeez. Goodness, Lord. I'm here about to choke. I'm trying to talk to y'all. But the last tip that I would give is if you have a Sam's Club or a Costco membership, get things in bulk. You are going to have your own little room with your own little snacks. Your dorm may include a fridge and a microwave. When I, My freshman year, I was so lucky to get the best dorm on campus. Come on, like it was the business. Go to Costco or Sam's Club, get things in bulk. That way it can last forever and then you can kind of sort of have your mini little diet because like I said freshman 15 or like me freshman 25 y'all crazy I know so yeah go ahead and stack up on those Roman noodles actually I recently heard Roman noodles was killing people is that true I don't know I, I heard something on the news with that so don't get Roman noodles do something else do something else find some some find some other college food to go get <laughs> but anyways that is all the hacks tips and advice that i have for you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos make sure to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy these hacks or if you're going to use these hacks make sure to comment below just saying hey and i will talk to you guys next time bye